Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Chess this week. The top stories this week, candidates is underway and at the end of 6 rounds close to the halfway point, Jan Nepomniachtchi is in the lead. He started off with this unexpected but convincing win with the black pieces against Ding Lijin and then went on to win some very nice games against Ali Reza Firoja, the teenage sensation who took the world by storm reaching 2800 and against the Polish number 1 Jan Krzysztof Tuda. Fabiano Caruana is not far behind. He's just half point behind and the candidates has turned into a two horse race. Fabiano won against uh, Hikaru Nakamura in the first round and uh, Ali Reza in the sixth round. Two of the biggest crowd favorites and he's right behind Jan just chasing him half point behind. Meanwhile, in the other indian action the juniors have been relatively quiet but nihal sarin is out there playing in armenia in the stephen avagyan memorial tournament he started off with this very nice win against manuel petrosian he ran into a bit of a stumbling block not on the chess board but off the chess board in the form of a viral infection he was tested for covid he turned out to be negative and um, he is slowly recovering he has made three more draws so a bit of a slow start he's not going to lose any rating for his loss in the second round because he didn't actually turn up and uh, it wouldn't count for the fide rating purposes and at the end of five rounds he's at 2 and a half out of 5 and uh, coming to the other indian players a lot of indian players are in action in czech republic in the tetlitse open and sl narayanan often confused for me he's not me i'm not him but an integral and important part of the indian olympiad team the a team he's out there he had a bit of a slow start he won the first two games he ran to a couple of draws in between but he has picked up steam and he has won the next three rounds so he's at 6 out of 7 at the end of 7 uh, rounds and focusing on action within india the chennai open is in progress and nitin This is a name that you want to remember the international master from India he's been in amazing form he played quite decently in Vaisag Open didn't quite finish where he would have wanted to but still finished in the top 10 and in the Chennai Open he won the first 7 games he drew the 8th round but he has a 1 point lead and is the favorite to win the Chennai Open but it's not just the experienced international masters who are setting the stage on fire v pranav is also a name that you would want to remember for a very long time last week we had the 74th grandmaster and pranav might well turn out to be the 75th grandmaster from india he had this fantastic performance in uh, this tournament in hungary the vezek epso close tournament he scored an astounding 8 and a half out of 9 he just defeated everyone except this one opponent and won the tournament very convincingly also taking his live rating about 2500 in the process which is an integral requirement for the grandmaster title apart from the three grandmaster norms these are the actions on the chess board off the chess board the torch relay the torch relay was the big news this week the torch relay was flagged off by none other than the prime minister of india in delhi on june 19 and we were all there and what an amazing spectacle it was it was an experience it was something you had to witness live and the atmosphere the environment was just magical and electric the torch starting from delhi made its way all the way up to leh ladakh and came to jammu and kashmir and it's now somewhere around the national capital region and uttar pradesh and if you are interested to participate do follow the events around the torch and uh, you can also be a part of this historic event when it comes to your city or if you happen to be traveling along with the torch and in international news nigel shot the vice president of fide went on to abruptly resign as post nigel shot was part of the contestants for the presidential elections in 2018 and He's playing right now in the World Seniors Championship. More details are awaited on it. And in news closer to home, Grandmaster Karthikeyan Murli, the 23-year-old Grandmaster, got married just a couple of days ago. So be sure to wish him in the comments. And if you like this episode, 
then do hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't and see you all next week